mountaineers from all over the world do not even think twice before risking their lives just to land at the peak of the beautiful Everest. Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, standing tall at 8,864 meters, proudly embellishes lots of successful, unsuccessful, and brave climbers like Fu Dorhi. Although Fu Dorhi started off his journey at the top just as a hobby, little did he know that he would someday be a part of the Wall of Fame. This Nepali mountaineer taught the people around him a lot more than just climbing. Fu Dorhi guided through the rookie mountaineers, paved the way for them, and lastly showed them that climbing Everest does not require a ton of modernized equipment, just good luck from the deadly mountain cracks. So without any further ado, let's watch this video to the end to remember one of the greatest mountaineers the Indian land has ever produced. Fu Dorhi and how several never-ending crevasse ice falls also couldn't stop him. Before the video starts, make sure you smash that red subscribe button and hit the tiny bell icon right beside it to never miss a single update. Fu Dorhi was not only an acclaimed professional climber, but was a part of the Sherpas as well. Fu Dorhi's childhood included breathing, eating, and sleeping right at the foot of the Himalayas in the beautiful country of Nepal. Although it was not until later that his family moved back to India. Mount Everest was an untouched piece of natural architecture that a lot of men, women, and children wished to have their footprints on. There were already a few highly accomplished people who had aced their ways to the top, but it did not make Fu Dorhi trouble even a bit. Rather, Fu Dorhi was much eager to represent his Nepalese route and make records of his own. You know the best part about Sherpas? They do so much more than just climbing. In the year 1965, the much-awaited expedition to the top was enacted. Even the years before, in 1960 and 1962, two more expeditions were made by a bunch of people in a group led by M.S. Kohli, but failed miserably. We must say the notorious weather surrounding Everest did not allow them to. But in 1964, the first successful expedition as a group was finally accomplished, Fu Dorhi being a vital part of it. The single climb consisted of 21 major members along with 50 Sherpas acting as helping hands. As a result, Fu Dorhi became the first Nepali man and the 23rd person in the world to see the sunrise from the summit of the breathtaking Everest. The flock of climbers included HPS Aluwalia, Harish Chandra, Singh Rawat, and Fu Dorhi as the prime guides, who paved the path for the group to follow. In the first attempt made in the expedition, which turned out to be fatal. Although it was the month of April, the weather did not spare them even this time. The group waited for two whole weeks, with one single aim to accomplish their goal this time at least. Fudorhi, being a Sherpa or a guide in other words, acknowledged the whole group and guided them thoroughly in the base camp. It seemed as if the expedition group could not even get out of the base camp as the weather continued to worsen. The group had already ran out of resources, hence they decided to take their chance and move forward with it. By the end of May 19, 1965, the fourth and final attempt was carried out. It was already 12 years past since the surreal Everest saw its first climber in the form of another, of a Sherpa climb, Tenzing Norgay. The expedition to the top was not an ordinary one. It was for the first time that a holy Indian expedition was about to be carried out. Although Fu Dorhi was not one of the first persons in the climb to reach the top, but he was definitely the first one in his birth country to do so. The expedition of 1965 turned out to be the first ever of its kind to be successful. Fu Dorhi, along with his other two counterparts, aced their way to the top on May 29, 1965. Among the whole group, only nine people were able to accomplish the task. Few of them had to retreat back owing to health difficulties. Luckily, Fu Dorhi was not one of them. This world record held by India was not broken until the next 17 years. The Indian mountaineering dreams just got their new wings as it became the fourth country to bear its flag at the summit, all thanks to climbers like Fu Dorhi Sherpa. The climbers were all well rewarded by the government with a Padma Shri for their impeccable contribution to the country. Fu Dorhi did not give up on his mountaineering dreams and climbed Everest several times even after that. Unfortunately, in 1969, the man who never succumbed to any of the mountain cracks broke his own record. A 70-foot deep crevasse put an end to the brave journey of this Sherpa, whom Everest could never forget. Do let us know in the comments section below, what did you think of this unattainable journey of Fudorhi, who probably died while doing the thing he absolutely loved? 
Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up until we see you next time.